There are over, over 150 objects in the Staffordshire Hall that are decorated with the cloisonné technique. They're made of golden garnets and they're decorated with a variety of patterns that are either geometric or zoomorphic. The type of objects we're talking about range from a variety of strips of various shapes and sizes, animal shapes, fittings, large fittings and smaller fit fittings as well as um, hilt collars. Some examples of this cloisonné work are on display here at Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. A lot of the objects have now been conserved so you can really appreciate the fine craftsmanship and the beautiful decoration, like in the case of these two strips that form a pair. And apart from obviously the very similar garnet shaped decoration, you can notice the similarities in their construction as well because they're both curved and they have filigree wire running outside the outer walls and also this rather curious protrusion of the base whose function we don't really know. Follow me now into the conservation studio where I'll be explaining a bit more about Garnet Troisonet and my personal involvement and project. I have been working on a project now for some time trying to work out groupings of Troisonet objects according to the cell work and pattern of decoration. I have worked out a group of four strips with large inlay cells in the middle. These are still dirty, so it's quite difficult to note that pattern. These are two of the four strips on the group. And this is a photo of the decoration. So there are two panels on each side of this central inlay, and they all have 30 garnets each that are displayed in exactly the same manner. One of the most remarkable examples of cloisonné work in the hoard can be found on the sax handle. As you can see, the sax handle is formed by five elements, four of which are decorated with a cloisonné technique. In the case of the pommel, the decoration is geometric, and in the case of the upper collar, is also geometric, but the two larger collars display zoomorphic decoration, and that is made by individually cut garnets arranged into single cells to form the shapes of animals. And just out of curiosity, the little eye of that animal is actually a bead made of glass. And while we're talking about cloisonné work, and particularly impressive cloisonné work at that, let's not forget our lentoids. These, of course, is just one of a pair of lentoids, but what we've worked out is that there are seven strips with identical decoration on them that could be potentially associated to this object as well. Of course, the pattern of cloisonné work um, also raises a number of questions. For example, we can see that the type of cloisonné decoration between the base, the cylinder and the top are quite radically different. So to go by the rule of thumb that all the same shaped garnets associate objects is a bit of a risk to take. Of course, all the data generated from this project is shared with the researchers and I'm looking forward to have their input and their opinion on what I've done so far. And of course, it should also be interesting for the public to see and admire the sheer variety of cloisonné work on the Staffordshire Hoard. If you want to know more about Cloisonné and its construction, please check out the rest of our blogs on www.staffordshireport.org.uk and also look out for my next written blog on the same subject.